name is Stephanie. Welcome to our video tour of the Heritage University campus in Toppenish, Washington. I am one of several students who will take you around and show you the highlights of our beautiful campus. We begin our tour at the Students First Center, the place you'll come back to again and again for all the services you'll need for a successful college experience. Let's go in. At the Students First Center, you'll find the admissions office, financial aid, registrar, and student accounts. And if you are visiting campus and not sure where to go, Start at the Students for Center and you'll find all of the answers to your questions. Hi! We are now passing by the Community Business and Training Center, which has two classrooms. The Advising Center is also there. Heritage University was founded in 1982 by Dr. Kathleen Ross and two Yakima Nation women. The nonprofit private institution named Heritage College started offering undergraduate and graduate degrees. In 2004, Heritage College became Heritage University to reflect a substantial master's degree program as the spring 2018 total enrollment at Heritage was nearly 950 students. Next stop is the Martha B. Yellup Health Sciences Building. PA student Randy is waiting for us there. Hi, I'm Randy and you're at the Martha B. Yallop Health Sciences Building. This building is named after university co-founder Martha Yallop. It's one of the newer buildings on campus and it's home to the university's physician assistant program. This is a great facility for the two-year PA program students. This building has a classroom with laboratory built into it. Students will spend their first year on campus learning health promotion, disease prevention, culture sensitivity, ethics, and professionalism. During the second year, students will be placed in family medicine clinics based in rural and underserved communities. The Arts and Sciences Center is next door and we'll join Latonia there who will tell us what this facility has to offer. Hi, I'm Latonia. The Arts and Science Center is home to all the laboratories where students are learning from and collaborating with top-notch science professors. Heritage University's nursing program is also here. The Arts and Sciences Center is also home to Smith Family Hall, where many club functions, informative meetings, and fun campus events are held. If you need a quiet place to study, there are several areas where you can hit the books and concentrate, whether with friends or by yourself. Heritage University offers bachelor's and master's degrees in more than 40 programs. Our intimate campus gives you the benefits of more one-on-one -on -one interaction with your instructors, advisors, and counselors. You'll also get the chance to have personal contact with HU administrators, including President Andrew Sund himself. Now, let's head over to the Gay and Jim Piggott Commons, and John will tell us more about what we can see there. Well, Latonia, the Gay and Jim Piggott Commons is one of the newer buildings at Heritage University, and it's home to the Student Lounge, Eagles Cafe, and two conference rooms. The Student Lounge is a fun place where students can hang out, play pool, board games, listen to music, and much more. As we walk, we enter the Eagles Cafe, which offers hearty, healthy, and tasty items for breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack. There's a large dining area for you and your friends where you can sit, eat, and talk. Also in Pickett Commons is the Eagle Outfitter, a vending machine that sells school supplies, personal accessories, heritage gear, and so much more. You'll also see two conference rooms. One of them, the Barnhill Fireside Room, is reserved exclusively for student use. It's a place where you can study and hang out with friends while enjoying the ambience of the fireplace. There's also the Patricia Wade Temple Room, which has more room for the larger groups. This room is also perfect for student meetings and university social gatherings. The Violet Lummi Rouse Center is just a short walk around the corner, and Ida is waiting to tell us more about what it has to offer. Hi, I'm Ida. Welcome to the Violet Lumley Rouse Center. This new building is named after University co-founder Violet Lumley Rouse and features Jack and Connie Bloxham Lecture Hall, one of the largest classrooms on campus. The Rouse Center has a large conference room and many student clubs hold their meetings here. Now it's time to head over to the Rick and Myra Gagne Hall and we'll find out what it has to offer. As we make the short walk to Gagne Hall, you'll pass by the Heritage Teepee. The Teepee honors Heritage University's relationship with the Yakima Nation Indian Reservation and is used as a classroom and gathering place. And here we're at the Gagne Hall. This building is home to the University's Information Technology Help Center. You can get help in setting up your laptop for schoolwork and connecting your smartphone to Heritage. You can also get your ID card and parking pass here. Next to Ghani Hall is the Hitchcock Building. It's one of the last original buildings here at Heritage from the 1980s and is home to student affairs as well as the camp and trio offices. The Sister Elizabeth Simpkins Center is just a few steps away offices for the College of Education and English and Humanities are located here. 
Right over there is Petrie Hall and Yannette is waiting there to tell us more. Hey, my name is Yannette and we are at Petrie Hall. It's another of our newer buildings and is considered the crown jewel of the new construction at Heritage. It is home to classrooms which are fitted with the latest technology including smart boards and Mac desktops. These enhance teacher presentation and boost student learning. Petrie also houses the Walter and Peggy Lewis Art Studio, where students work on artistic projects as part of their art curriculum. The Virginia S. Hislop Art Gallery showcases the wonderful artwork produced by students, faculty, and others. One more stop on our campus tour, and that's the Kathleen Ross Center. Let's go! In addition to our top finished campus, Heritage also operates a branch office at Columbia Basin College in Pasco, Washington. Heritage at CBC offers several programs to turn your associate's degree into a bachelor's or your bachelor's degree into a master's in teaching and education. Here we are at the Ross Center and Alfredo is here to tell us more. Hi, I'm Alfredo. I spent many hours here with my friends in this building, which is named after Heritage University's first president, Sister Kathleen Ross. Once you enter, straight ahead is the Donald K. North Library. The library has thousands of books and documents, as well as computers and helpful library staff to help you find what you need to complete your assignments. Right next door to the library is the Writing and Academic Skills Center. In both places, you'll find tutors eager to help you excel with your classwork. There's also a computer lab with state-of-the-art equipment that will help you tackle those technology-based projects. Another feature of Heritage University campus is the Great Lawn. We hold many fun events here, including the annual Easter egg hunt, the All Nation Student Powwow, Alumni Celebration, and various festivals. Now let's go back to Stephanie, who will wrap up our tour. So there you have it, a video tour of our main campus in Toppenish. We invite you to come out to see the campus in person. Make an appointment by visiting heritage.edu, send us an email, or give us a call. Can't, Can't wait, wait to see you here. here.